unlikely things to hear on a survival show. I was first taught to eat in the bush by a French girl I went out with at university. <laughs> to get the fish, break the ice, jump the checkout, and run! <laughs> Not only is this lake good for fish, but we can also put a body in it. <laughs> Using excrement, mud and twigs, they've made primitive bedding here at the Premier Travel Lodge. <laughs> I'm in the Congo. Let's sell this once and for all. Do you boys like Umbungo? <laughs> <laughs> here I am in the jungle. The mighty jungle. <laughs> I win my way, I win my way, I win... <laughs> But who are the truly civilised? Is it the Mbupi tribe or is it us with our books, our medicine and our internet? Oh, yes, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> of course, food is a scarce and valuable resource to these tribes people. So I've just bagged myself two nights with this fella's wife for a Twix. <laughs> You know, Ant and Deck think that their jungle's pretty tough. Well, they joined me today, there was no food, so I ate them. <laughs> the villagers get up early and walk five miles to fetch clean water every day, which begs the question, why not move the village closer? <laughs> the strong, powerful sun is making me sweat. Oh, shit, here comes his dad! <laughs> I've been living in these woods for three weeks now, but that's what happens if you're married to the Home Secretary and she catches you watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bear Grylls, and this is my brother, Wolf Stir Fry. <laughs> I've just achieved my life's ambition of climbing Everest with no food and no equipment. Now do you love me, Daddy? <laughs> 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 